this is so important, yeah. this issue of diversity. So I think I, there are a lot of things in what you just said. The first thing is that what makes it difficult sometimes to address the topic is that we don't have a common understanding of the definition of diversity. So it may mean different things to different people. And so you could be having different conversations when you think you're having the same one. So the first thing is that I think as companies go, people need to determine what is most important for you and then to develop a definition around that. Once you have that, then you can start moving to the phase of, okay, how do we talk about this and what do we want to do about it? Because you don't want to talk about it just for talking sake. You're talking as a means to achieving something, right? Somewhere along that path, what you're going to, no matter what definition you choose or where you want to go, you're going to find yourself in a space where things become what people call sensitive. And that's what makes it hard. Because you're often going to be dealing with uh, issues of historical inequity and communities who are particularly marginalized. And there's where it starts to get personal. So it gets personal because for each individual, each of you is different from the next person. Right? It doesn't matter what your gender identity, what your socioeconomic background, what your race, what your religion, you are going to be different from your sibling who may share many of those characteristics and grew up in the same environment, but you are different people. So people have a very deep sense of their uniqueness. Mm -hmm. When you then start to talk programmatically about building out something which um, is focused on inclusion and diversity for others, the question of who's inside and who's outside starts to bubble up, right? Does this mean that this is something that's gonna affect me? Is it gonna affect me positively or negatively? People get really personal about it. So as you start to talk about programmatically being deliberate about um, correcting imbalances and addressing inequity, it gets quite challenging sure. because people, it, it, it's very personal and it becomes very sensitive and to get consensus around what you do, how much you invest, what you want, how you get there becomes difficult. If you're going for broad adoption, if you are operating in markets that are complex, if you are doing anything which is other than a niche product for a niche group, for a small group, you are going to need to understand different perspectives in order to build and in order to serve in the way that people will find relevant and delightful, right? So it is literally, do you want your company to be as successful as possible or do you not? And if you do, then it behooves you to develop teams which are more cognitively diverse. And that is where I landed at Facebook in terms of the anchor for what we do around diversity and why we do it. It is because we want to achieve more cognitive diversity on every team. If you look at the research, the research shows that if you're trying to do something very simple, let's say assembly line work, you're actually better off in many cases with a homogeneous team. Because the more diverse your teams be get, get, the more it takes from you to manage the differences, right? So you're going to get better results because they're gonna approach things from different angles. You're gonna see around corners you couldn't see around before. You're going to build things that will appeal to more people if you have more cognitively diverse teams, that is teams of people who think differently and how you think is related to your background. Mm -hmm.